What's up, guys? Floodmon 14. And we're back with some more Donna Destiny. This time we're doing triple 12. Let's do it. Yep, these guys have 8 grand each. 14,000 in total for us. Uh, but we have the Battle City finalists Kaiba, Yami Yugi, and Yami McMerrick. So we'll do them in order, you know, uh, in their placement. So Kaiba third, Yami Merrick second, Yami Yugi first. But they're all repeats, so let's just do it. <laughs> let's see if you're worthy of calling yourself a duelist. Or you're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Alright, here we go. Zeto Kaiba. Uh, is there a new music here? I'm not sure. Let's find out. No, this sounds familiar. Same as uh, Triple Eleven music. Still good music, though. Huh. I'm seeing double this hand. Speaking of double. Double equal duo. <laughs> so you're activating a spell card, Flood. Alright, let's see what we get. Ooh, blue eyes. Goodbye. Oh, speaking of double, double blue eyes. <laughs> Kaiba starting his hand with two or three blue eyes? Who would have thought? <laughs> Alright, seven colored fish. Alright, that's it for me. Yeah, hopefully he won't have Horse Raider. But if he does, we're ready. No Horse Raider. Alright, how you guys doing today? Alright, fun fact, I'm actually recording this right after... Um, we just unlocked Yami Bakura for the first time. I forgot he had this card. Wow, it's really been a while, Kaiba. <laughs> His face. Uh, but yeah, fun fact, after we beat uh, Yami Bakura for the first time in Triple Eleven, yeah, that's when I'm recording this. Now, when am I going to be showing this episode? Might be a while, but uh, for all intents and purposes, guys, this was going to be the finale of... Uh, my Let's Play of Dawn of Destiny. You may be saying, finale? What? Surely not. Surely not. But, uh, yeah, believe it. Believe it or not. This here is going to be the finale. Uh, he doesn't have a spell, does it? Well, then again, this might be part one of the finale. And then when we finish Yami yeah, there, it'll be part two. But you may be saying, finale? What? Really, Flood? Really? I... What? Uh, but yeah. So, uh, uh, and there's a reason, well, I'll get into it later, but there's a reason why I'll be considering this the finale of this game. Uh, nice. So, all right, he seems to be unable to handle seven colored fish, so let's just keep looping the one soldier here, and that should give us some easy results. Well, you know what, maybe I should do, I'll see if he has a magic jammer. Face down there. <laughs> so you're activating the spell card. Yes, sir. All right, ping one down. All right, see what the uh, United we stand. We should be able to finish this in four turns. Unless he plays Monster Reborn, which is possible. Do you think he got called the Haunted? I hope not. Uh, knowing him, he probably got negate attack though. All right, ping one up. Uh, good old ping one soldier combo. Uh, but yeah, finale. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and spoil some stuff. But I mean, uh, I mean this is a pretty old game. Most people already know, you know, kind of what to expect from this game and everything. Um, why would I consider this triple nice just desserts? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, and Kaiba's burn cards do kind of help out, help out the other people in this triple. But your life points are just so high in this triple that it's yeah, I don't know. I mean, a thousand damage isn't much. But why would I consider this triple to be the finale? And yeah, fun fact, spoilers: there are other triples uh, in this game. So why would I consider this the one, the finale? Well. There's a reason for that, and uh, I'll show you guys at the end of the episode. So, uh, oh, I should have left Penguin Soldier. Yeah, I really should have. Well, you know what? We have the workaround, Josh. We have the workaround. I messed up, 
but it's okay, because we drew Magical Thorn. I just could have ended it one turn earlier. So let's go with Morphing Jar down this time instead. And we'll use the Magical Thorn combo to finish it up. But yeah, uh, <laughs> crazy. I, I never thought we'd get to this point, but this is indeed going to be the finale. So, um, anyway, Magical Thorn. Should be it, Kaiba. Don't know why I said grab it by. Go, Morphing Jar! <laughs> Wipe out all the cards in his hand and the rest of his life points. Let's see what he had. Another, he did have all three blue eyes to start. That's funny. Judgment, Premature Burial. Why didn't you use Premature Burial the entire time? The world may never know. The AI is pretty. I don't know. It's a little. It's kind of weird in this game. Don't think you've seen the last of me. I'll get my revenge. Oh, but we have seen the last of you, Kaiba. Because this is the finale. Ha! Joke's on you. Nah, I'm just kidding. We'll probably duel Kaiba again. My shadows are hungry and thirsty for you. I dare not disappoint them. Wah! Hmm. Okay, Yami Merrick. You evil, evil man. Melvin. That's right, folks. You can't spell Melvin without evil. Evil, 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 evil. Hmm, pretty good hand against Yami there. You got the duster, so. Oh, dude, that is. Yeah. I, I can't really complain, because <laughs> I just did the same thing against Kaiba. Yeah, I knew he'd grab duster. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sucks. Well, he's only got one face down, so. Maybe we'll be okay here. Solemn Wishes. That is a good card. Uh, let's... You know what? What if he has Trap Hole? Seven Colored Fish. I want to use the effect of my tomato, so... Alright, let's see if he has Gravity Bind. That's a good card, too. I love the moment when my opponent falls into my trap. Yeah, true. But at least we don't have to worry about uh, Gravity Bind. I mean... Mirror Force the rest of the duel. Also, he didn't summon any monsters. Strange. Hmm. Yeah, because most of Merrick's deck is, uh, you know, flip monsters. Like, well, I guess he does. Doesn't he have Slate Warrior? Hmm. Yeah, very strange. Very strange start, either way. Let's set this in case that's a Morphing Jar. Maybe he has a bunch of power spells in his hand, you know, like Dark Hole, Raijiki, uh, etc. There's a jar, okay. That's a little more of what I expected, Yami Mary. Alright. Ooh, we lost Snatch Deal. <sighs> lost Magic Hammer 2, that sucks. Mm. Well, he has Gravity Mind, so that's not a big... Oh, we lost Duo. Wait, oh no, uh, I got confused. I was just about to say, didn't I use Delinquent Duo already in this duel? No, 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 no. We just used it against Kaiba, you silly goose. Uh, we did get a good grab there, though, with Penguin Soldier. That's pretty good, considering he plays a lot of flip monsters. So maybe we can start using the Penguin Soldier combo on him. We'll see. Either way, at least we're. Ooh. Ooh. Did I throw away any good monsters? No, but you know what? Summon Color Fish is good enough. Gimme. I activate Premature Burial, Mirror. By paying 800, this lets me resurrect a monster in the graveyard, and I choose my seven colored fish. Alright. Yeah, like I said, maybe we can get the penguin combo going, just like against Kaiba. Alright, penguin soldier. Bounce. Bounce to the ounce. See ya. And let's do it in stereo. I set penguin soldier. And let's just. Yeah. He's wide open. No traps, no spells, no monsters. I mean, let's get in there, boys. I I am my turn. All right, let's see if we got an MST Merrick to send my fish back to the graveyard. Nope, just a monster. That's not going to be good enough, buddy. All right. So far, this one's going much better than expected, honestly. Yami Merrick usually is really good about stalling out. For him to get no spells and traps is quite shocking, honestly. Normally he at least, you know, has like 
two or three cards set at all times, you know, and he'll start looping Jar of Greed and get Gravity Bind going. Speaking of Gravity Bind, hopefully draw a Legendary Ocean pretty soon. Well, then again, we do have MST, so what am I worried about? Ah, but you know, just in case, I like to have Legendary Ocean on hand. Well, you got the MST. Now, is the AI going to be smart here? Okay. Good play, Yami Merrick. Good play. Alright, what now? Nope. Hmm. Still no back row. Still no back row. Looks good to me. Looks really good to me. Okay, so what we'll do this turn, believe it or not, we're gonna set Mystic Tomato and not attack. That's right, not attack. Trust me, guys, trust me. I've got a plan. It's a two-step plan, but it requires him not to use Dark Hole. Darn it. Okay. Okay, see, because I was gonna get enough damage on board. And then Penguin Soldier. Please don't summon a monster. Please don't summon a monster. Dang it. Well, the plan is ruined, guys. He played Dark Hole. But hey, that is his signature card, so... I shouldn't really be too surprised. Alright, Yami Merrick. You did manage to stall a little bit. Good job. And the worst part is he got rid of our Penguin Soldier, but... Oh well. Yeah. Figured that was coming. Any other bug? Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I'm sure we'll draw some other monsters here. <sighs> all right. It's okay. We got him down halfway, though. We got him. We cut his life points in half. That's honestly really good. Okay. Ah, Great Keeper Servant. Yeah, he does seem to like that card. You know what? Let's get uh, that face down out of here. The only thing he's used so far is a uh, mirror force, right? And I don't want to fool with anything he's got. Gravity bind. Good hit. Good hit. Infinite cards. Okay. I don't mind that. Another infinite card. So this is what he's been sitting on the whole time. A bunch of continuous spells. Because I'm pretty sure he would have set gravity bind. Like, he just drew gravity bind this turn. Because I'm pretty sure uh, he would have... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's... Uh, Let's just set Sinister Serpent. I'll hopefully sacrifice it for a Fisherman next turn. Yeah, as long as he doesn't draw a monster, he can summon. Hmm. That'll be quite a big monster. Oh, no, wait, it's just my fish. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Ah, okay. Well, his whole hand's down now, so this is what he's been sitting on. Axe of Despair, two infinite cards, and Gravity Bind. He had those the whole time. I'm assuming he just drew, drew Monster Born this turn. Because why not play it a lot earlier? Chain Energy. Hmm, this actually might be a good call. I know it's going to hurt us a little bit too. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good call. Chain Energy. Yeah. Because basically, Chain Energy is going to offset itself because we have Solemn Wishes. So we're going to gain 500 to set Sinister Serpent every turn, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Pennant, okay. Not too afraid of that. I mean, you're not attacking me directly, so there's really no threat yet, you know. So. And he's got no cards in his hand, so honestly, we're in a pretty good spot here. Morphic Jar, hmm, interesting gamble, but I'm willing to take this gamble, Morphic Jar, face down, because this will get him more cards to play, which means Chain Energy can burn him out, yeah, kind of a, a, this may be a dumb gamble, considering he had no cards in his hand, but I think it'll pay off. So, I'm actually going to MST, because he's definitely going to draw at least one spell or trap. I'm going to MST Axe of Despair here, just to give him space to play at least one more card. So, alright, time for my Flip Monster shenanigans in Yami Mare. Hehe. <laughs> alright. Penguin Knights. Would have loved to mill that with Gravekeeper Servant, but that's okay. Alright, play two more cards, and we marry. Yeah. Play another one. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Oh, and we got Morphing Jar number two. Ooh, 
That way we can reset his field, and Ryan's been ruined. Take back Sinister Serpent. Okay, we'll set Morphing Jar. Uh, I don't think I'll set Widespread Ruin. I'll just set Negate Attack in case he uh, he's able to do try to direct attack. We can just Negate Attack. I'm willing to pay five for Negate Attack. I mean, he might have Mania or Bugface down there, so. Mm -hmm. Pay another five, Merrick. There's his Worst Raider. Okay. Nice. We don't have to use Negate Attack here. The Jar will defend us. Go, Morphing Jar. Yeah, Seven Color Fish goes back to my deck. Hey, <laughs> hey. Because it was originally my monster. Ooh, Pot of Green, get rid of that. Ooh, yes, I'm glad to see that go. Right, Gekki, get that out of here. What else? Two Vorch Raider, okay. Mask of Darkness, okay. Alright, we take the Black Pendant damage. Please set another card. No, okay. Not yet. Very, well, honestly, I think we'll be good here. I'll just play Negate Attack. Well, yeah, I'll end the turn. You got me. I mean, Merrick, I'll end the turn. I'll end the turn. Because he should set another spell or trap since he has his own open. As long as it's not Duster. Mocha Mocha, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Here come the forces. Ah, he doesn't have a spell or trap. Okay, okay. You did. Kogi! Oh, more geeky, ha! Negate attack. Alright, so we just needed him to play one more monster and. Ooh, perfect! Perfect. And one more spell or trap card. This should defend us from a lot of damage. So let's just go with Gravity by and the turn. Don't even need to play monster. I guess Mooka Mooka does have 1800 here, but yes, he said monster. Yes! Monster, 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 monster. Yes! We win. Alright, and we burned him out with Chain Energy. That was an epic duel. He had like 10 cards on the field. Don't get so full Don't get so full of yourself. Next time you will fall in my shadow game. Wah! Like I told Kaiba, there won't be a next time, Yami Merrick. This is the finale, baby. Alright, let's do it. Yami Yugi. Every deck has a chance to win, as long as you believe in the heart of the cards. Let's do Floodmon 14. What time are we at? Yeah, I think we're good. Da -da. This is time for war. Alright. I'll play Jar of Greed and. Hmm, Mask of Darkness. Seems like a good combo. I'm um, not gonna play anything. JC has a duster first turn. I know Yami Yugi likes his traps, but I don't really have any offensive threats right now anyway, so. Two face downs. And I'm up. Ooh, wait, why didn't he summon? Oh, maybe he has like Mystical Elf. Yeah, with like only 800 attack. What? Ooh, chain energy again. Okay, well, what we want to do here. Okay, first of all, let me get back mass. Okay, add Jar of Greed, set Jar of Greed, wait, wait, what if he has Magic Jammer? Okay, we'll set this, and we'll set Royal Decree too. What if he has Morphin Jar? You know what, we'll set Monster Reborn too, just in case. Okay, let's sack first, before I do Penguin Soldier. Magic Cylinder, you know what, that's fine, only 900, now! Go, Magic Cylinder! Redirect the attack toward Bloods and Life Points. Alright, and... You know what? We've already set four. Uh, <laughs> might as well set five. Coffin Cylinder? You damn. Alright. Let's get the turn. We can set Torrential after we use Jar of Greed. Maybe I'll leave this one open, actually. Don't play Dark Hole. Alpha? That's fine. Go, Alpha the Magnet Warrior! Attack his penguin soldier? That's an odd choice, but I'll take it. Go, yeah, coffin seller. Alright, I guess with the uh, penguin? I guess I'll reset my Mask of Darkness. Might as well get an extra draw of grief. Seems good. Return to hand. See ya. Return to hand. Me. Okay. Soldier. He did have Mystical Elf. I totally called that one. 
I totally called that one. Good decision to send that attack, but uh, yeah. Alright, so what we'll do now, let's jar the greed first. Uh-huh. What? Good card, good card. All right, now we Royal Decree, Yugi. Now your trap cards are useless. Aha, as are mine. It's all fair. Now we play Mr. Tomatoa. All right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, now your trap hole is useless. <laughs> all right, and we'll set, since I have Chain Energy, obviously I'm gonna play Chain Energy here. But I'll set Dark Hole. Alright. And, ooh, should I play Monster Reborn? I don't think there's anything good in the graveyard yet, right? No, no, no. Just Mask of Darkness? Uh, oh, Penguin Soldier. Just Penguin Soldier. Alright, Mask of Darkness went in my hand. Uh, time to attack. Go, Mystic Tomato. Shadow's Tail. Not bad, Flood. Not bad. But I'm the king of games, and I can assure you, I'll defeat your cards. Is that so? I'm a man of my word. Raigeki! I activated. <laughs> now, I pay 500 points to summon Alpha from my hand. Not bad, Yamigi, not bad. But we've got plenty of life points to spare. Ha! Alright. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn, Yami Yugi. Your move, buddy. Ha! Ah, I'll show you why I'm the king of games. You set down that mask again, didn't you? Well, it's no match for this. My set monster. And now Alpha attack his mask of darkness. Alright, well, so we'll get back to our green. So far, so good. Slowly whittling him down. Plus, we got a dark hole set, so. Should I play dark hole now? Part of the cards. Don't need Dark Hole yet. We got the Penguin Soldier. All right, I end my turn, Yami Yugi. What are you gonna do now, buddy? Fine, I'll show you now. I'll play another monster, Giant Soldier of Stone. And I'll summon my Mystical Elf. Mystical Elf, Holy Light. Too bad, Yami Yugi. A Penguin Soldier's gonna bounce your monsters. <laughs> Alright. Pretty epic finale. Pretty epic finale. We're just slowly burning him out. Slate Warrior. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, Slate Warrior. Now it's time to start off with a clean slate, because I summon Slate Warrior, and he's going to scrape your mystical elf off the pavement. Attack. Ooh, big damage there. Not bad, Flood. Not bad. Alright. What you got next, Yami Yugi? Dark Hole? I activate Black Illusion Ritual! What? I'm sorry, Dark Magic Ritual. I sacrifice Summon Skull and Alpha to summon the Magician of Black Chaos. Wow. Good stuff, Yugi, Yami Yugi. Go! Death Ultima! That was a powerful attack. Oh, I'm sorry, let's censor it for the American viewers. Chaos Scepter Blast! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Yami Yugi, you just made a losing move. I activate my face down. Go, Dark Hole! Yeah, this will wipe all the cards off the field. And, since you were grateful enough to summon it for me, I'll bring it back with Monster Reborn. Come back, Magician of Black Chaos, in attack mode. And we'll just set Magician of Fate to get Monster Reborn. Only doing this in case he gets, like, Duster. Now go! Chaos Scepter Blast! Oh man, what an epic way to end the finale. Alright, Yami Yugi, if you play one more card, you're done. My Chain Energy will take the rest of your life points unless you give Arby's Feather Duster right here. Okay, no. Alright, guys, and we win over the King of Games. Ah, no, I lost. I guess you wanted to win much more than I did. It was a great duel and a great Let's Play flood. I'm proud of you. All right. Ooh, Super War Lion. Wow. Interesting. Interesting last card to get. 
All right, and that's it for Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. Oh, and next we have, what is this triple? Weird. Pretty weird one. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the finale, as I said. Now, why did I say the fin this is the finale? Well, after you beat triple... What was that, 12? Yeah, after you beat triple 12, you'll now see this option on the menu. Credits? What is this, you may say? Well, first of all, let's save. Uh, yeah, so credits. You may you may recognize, you know, this wasn't available in the menu before. And this is why I'll consider this the finale of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny. Thank you to everyone who's joined me and supported me over the years. But the credits will now roll. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dawn of Destiny staff. Yeah. So, uh, it's been a long time coming, but, uh... This is at last, the finale. Yeah, so I thoroughly enjoyed this LP and this game. And uh, yeah, yeah, this was one of the very first, you know, video, series of videos I started on, on this channel. And uh, man, we've come a long way, done a lot of doing, been a few years, been a few hiatuses, I'm sorry about that. But we've also had a few good times and a few, like even last episode, <laughs> a few episodes ago. Oh man, it was, it was so fun. It was so fun. You know, just talking about the Ishizu cards and talking about Yukio in general. I love this game and Kazuki Takahashi. Man, I love you and uh, this game that you made, man. It's it's brought brought me so much joy and fun. I'm sure you guys like Yu-Gi-Oh too. I mean, or maybe you just like me. But you probably like Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, what else would you be? Watch it. That looks like a cool attack. Well, Kyrion, have we never seen that before? Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, uh, thank you to everyone who's joined and, uh, liked over the few years, but this is it. Now, as you saw, there is, like, the rest of the triples from here on out, they're basically just repeats, and basically, the ch it's basically challenge mode from here on out. I've always considered this part, the Battle City Finalist, to be the finale, and it kind of feels like it is, honestly. Um, but the rest of the triples, long story short, I will show them, yes, but we're going to be taking a much, a long, long break from Donna Destiny. We're going to focus on other stuff from here on out. But basically, the other triples, you'll start at low, much, 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 much lower life points, like you saw in that triple with the three rare hunters. Uh, and but the AI will start to have higher and higher life points. So, but basically, yeah, not gonna focus on this let's play too much. Um, but I basically the the next like. 10 or so episodes, although those will be well, bonus, be bonus episodes, and what I consider bonus tiers, because, I mean, we did get the credits, and whenever you get the credits in the game, usually it's game over, so, yeah. Um, sorry if that upsets you, but, oh, that looks really cool. But, uh, yeah, let's start reading some of these names. Special thanks. Kasumi Kitaoi. Special thanks. Dennis Lee and Nick Rick Naylor. I, I misread that. Oops. Special thanks. Tommy Kotsubo. Jeffrey Mulligan. Linda Stackpool. Special thanks. Oh, look at the career bills. That's so cool. Ta Takeshi Kan Kameta. Or is it Kamita? Special thanks. For Kids Entertainment. Zach's Entertainment and Intact, powered by Interesting Al Alchemy, and created by the great Konami. And Yu-Gi-Oh! was created by Kazuki Takahashi. And let me send a special thanks to all of you, to all of you, for watching and liking these videos and joining me in the series. So, yeah, that's the finale. This has been... Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of Destiny. Thanks for watching. And it's going to be quite a long break before I see you guys next time. But I'll see, still see you guys in other Let's Plays. So feel free to check those out on this channel. Alright guys. I'll see you all next time. 
Bye bye. Check out that Super War Lion we got. That was a pretty cool card. Uh, so it should be Blue Ritual, yeah. Yeah, there it is. We'll kind of leave this on the screen for a few minutes, and that'll be it. Ooh. <laughs> Looks like Leo Mon from Digimon, eh? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. Uh, let's go with Gaia Power. Yeah, he seems like he belongs in the forest. Nice. Alright, pretty cool looking ritual. 